Hey, Chris Mack here again. So we have officially moved in, even though we've had the location for some time. Um, we can't really set up the new place when we need the furniture from the old place. So by no means were we selling everything in the old location and then buying all brand new stuff for the new location. Why would I do that? I love the stuff that we've you know collected over the years. I love our furniture. I love everything. So here's the back meeting room for our clients. All the boxes right to the ceiling. So here we are. I have uh, quite a bit of color from, um, well, I wouldn't say color. I'd say more rosiness from the garage sales. So we've done three garage sales, uh, one the weekend, the last weekend that we were at 10 Bayswater. And then we did uh, one, uh, two actually, sorry, I should say, back to back at my home. It was kind of the, the stop before we venture off to the new location. Uh, my home is quite somewhat central from my old location to my new location. So yeah, it was a dropping off point just to sell, you know, uh, different furniture, things that can go either in boutique or in home. We had some really cool chairs, um, shelving, brackets, just surplus of things we, we just don't need. We're going from 1,400 square feet to 550 square feet um, ish. So yeah, we don't need the same stuff. So here we are, here I am, lots to do. Uh, people are asking me, so how is it like you all set up? <laughs> like, mm, when, when would that have happened? <laughs> Uh, you've seen me doing sales, right? So yeah, we're here. Uh, we're here. Lots to do. Lots to go through. I have a lot of base cabinets, which I'm hoping to reuse. I have to decide what chandelier I'm going to have here. I was thinking of painting my black chandelier. Um, it used to be uh, this really kind of 80s goldish silver thing, and I did it black instead. Um, but I do have, as you may recall, my cool gunmetal chandelier that has the external wire on it. I mean, it would look fantastic right up here. So I don't know if you can really see, there's the little kind of hub for all our electronics and security and whatnot. And try to get a full view. That's, well, you can't really see it. You can see kind of black marks on the floor. Oh yeah, you can, okay. Mm. Okay, those aren't exactly the black marks that represent the island, but the island is essentially going to be about eight feet by four feet. So it'd be a really large cutting space for me. Um, it's a workspace. It's, um, you know, it can serve for events. It can serve for seating. It can, it can serve for a lot of different purposes. Um, so I want it to look good, but it also has to be on point for me to cut fabric. I mean, nothing can snag. It has to be super smooth, easy to use surface. So above that, I'd love to have like an awesome chandelier hanging kind of right by the middle of our hub and the table and just centered. So when you first walk in, here's our main door. Ta -da! So our main door, you first walk in, how nice would that be just to see a chandelier hanging over the table? Yes. So that's what I'm working on today. Um, my biz partner, colleague, former employee uh, is going to be helping me do the finishing touches on the floor. I have some edge work that needs to be done and we've got to uh, get that quarter round in. So we will be doing that this evening when she comes. Her hubby has all the tools we need. So I'm looking forward to getting that done. Um, and that's about it. I left you off with, oh, it looks so red here. Oh, let's go back to this window. It's so funny. I'm so careful not to put sun on my face. Uh, I don't think my my face has seen direct sunlight for oh, probably 10 years. Um, I always keep it covered. I always keep a hat. I don't usually burn um, ever. Um, I'll get a nice little bit of a base, but I do get moles. I'll get, you can see, I'll show you here. Oh, actually you can see right here. I'll get moles. They pop right out. So even though I have, because I have a, a mix of French, Italian, Irish, and Dutch, and the Irish side gets a lot of moles. But the Italian side, I'll get, you can tell I have like my undertones green. I'm very, very fair, but my undertone is green. So when I get color, I can get a really nice tan. Um, but I, then I end up with moles. So I'm like, mm, I just try to stay out of the sun. It's just screams cancer. So I'm always keeping my face at least. I'll, I'll like my, my legs to get a natural tan, but my, um, and, and in moderation, but my face, 
I always have hats on and you know I'm, I'll be at the beach I'll have a big hat on but I'll have like my legs just like a little bit of a sunscreen on and I'll, I'd rather wear layers and just protect myself so my face is against all my recommendations never ever have your face directly in the sun but I was on my pavement I'm all about you know I was working trying to work the garage sale and I, I didn't um, have really a break just to go in and just you know touch base with uh, food and water and sunscreen um, and I was directly on the driveway, the pavement, um, from about 8.30 to 3, 4 o'clock in the afternoon and didn't even notice. I was, it was hot, but I didn't even notice, just kept working and yeah, my face was out. I had exfoliated, my skin was bare, like there was nothing on, I didn't even put a moisturizer on, nothing with SPF, nothing. Usually I can get away with SPF 15 for the day because again, like I'm, I'm not too, too sensitive to the sun that way. Um, <laughs> nothing on it, not cool. So yeah, I'm a little bit pink, a little bit pink, which is a lot for, for me. I don't like seeing that. Um, but yeah, that's it. So here I am today. I'm going to figure out my island. I got to shimmy around base cabinets. I was doing some calculations. You can see here, I was, uh, deciding exactly like what I was going to do with what base cabinets I have and what I would need. And then a lot is determined by what Ikea has in stock. I don't want anything custom. Um, that's how you get into running up way too much expense. So I literally work with their stock measurements, what they have, and I work with that. Um, even glass shelves. If you want glass shelves in a display, say I have the slat wall. Um, so if you have glass shelves you want to use for a display, go to places that have you know, glass shelves already. Uh, what are their measurements? Ikea has literally, I think, a glass shelf for every size of cabinet that they have, base or upper. Um, so I just use their measurements and I realized that was a huge mistake in my former location. Um, we built a niche in the wall. Um, when you first walk in our entrance area, we had a niche built in and we just built it with no measurement in mind. I'm like, in hindsight, what I would have done is went to Ikea, picked the glass shelves I wanted and then built the niche according to those shelves. I could have got $10 glass shelves and then I'm building the niche anyway. So it would have cost me 50 bucks to have all the shelves that I wanted in glass. Instead, because we made it some odd size, it would require custom glass cutting. It just brings the price right up. You're, talk you're not talking like a ton of money, but still $50 versus, you know, three, four, five, sometimes more, um, $100 or we were even considering um, uh, what were we considering at the time too? Anyway, we went through so many different materials. Um, you know, when you start to look at every corner of your shop, that's when it starts to add up. It might only be a hundred dollar savings or a $300 savings for one project, but when it becomes every part of your shop, that's when it adds up. That's your true cost. And don't forget, we were doing 1400 square feet of walls and storage and shelving and whatnot. So, um, it would have been amazing to learn those lessons with this size of shop and then move to a 1,400 square foot location, but I'm doing it now. So what this location is going to be, essentially I will have a showroom, I will have a change room, um, because our community here gets really involved in um, festivals and events and it becomes a real touristy walk through, go to the little boutique shops, um, art, it starts to become busier. Uh, so we want to be available and want to be able to show off our artisans and, and continue to support the artists and facilitate artists as we've done from day one. Um, but I don't want to be chained to my store anymore. I've already done that for seven years, right? Where you're chained to your store, you have services, someone has to be there. And that's not what I wanted. Um, when I was first interviewed with Canadian Youth Business Foundation, I was going through leadership grants. Um, I was asked, why do you want to be in business? And I wanted time. I wanted time to work on things. I wanted to build my craft, build my art, spend time with my dog, have my dog with me. The business plan, how things moved by year one was not what I wanted. That wasn't the quality of life that I wanted. So this opportunity, this location is going to allow me hopefully finally to have that and work on bigger projects, things that I've been wanting to work on for quite some time. So I will have in this corner my workshop my table for all different types of purposes. Then you'll have my showroom. So showroom, I don't know, Friday, Saturdays, maybe we list the days. Maybe we don't commit to every Friday, Saturday, but we, you know, 
put the, the window, the summer hours out or whatever we do. We're not stuck on how that has to be yet. Right now, my focus is for the first time, just take it day by day. Um, yeah, I'm giving myself a couple weeks to do it. I'm not going to take six months to do this, but it is still day by day, which is a wonderful thing for me to say because that's not what my life has been. And then the back room, as you've already seen, is going to be where we meet our clients. So this is where the coffee bar will be. This is where the beautiful mirrors will be. Um, yeah, and it's, you know, we can still service our clients, meet them, talk for, you know, about the weddings, weekends, they can meet their artists. If there's some artists that we've worked with before or new ones that we meet and they need a place to up that level of professionalism and meet their client, well, hey, this is what that room is for. It's all about collaboration. So that's it. I'm trying to do a quick little update. I'm under 10 minutes. First time in a long time. Score. So that's it. Chris Mack signing off and I will um, hopefully connect with you again and continue to document this process and keep you in the loop. Ciao for now.